come back in the fall. Uh, too little, too late, not enough time. What are your thoughts? Exactly. That's like classic us. We wait till the very end to fight. Um, and after the game, it's like we got to bring that fight for the first quarter. The second quarter, maybe we have to go in thinking we're already down 15 so we can fight like that because we do that and, you know, we just run out of time. So is it that when you guys get down like that, I mean, there's something that comes about the team that says, hey, we got to put this together and make a run because you do it every game. Right. Yeah, I think it shows a lot of character that we fight like that, but we just have to figure out how to fight like that from the beginning. Um, I think that it shows a lot that we don't give up and get blown out, you know, by 30 or 20. Like, we always fight back. We've done that time and time again this year, so we just got to figure out what it is about. Is it frustrating just trying to figure out how to, to get that the last <laughs> It is. I'm sure it's frustrating for the coaching staff, too. Um, and just coming out and starting the game with that energy and that effort and that kind of fight that we we know we're capable of in the fourth quarter. We, we I don't know the answer. We're trying to figure it out how to do that in the first quarter. First quarter shot 20, uh, less than 24 percent. What was it about the first quarter? I think a few missed layups just to start the contest. Did that just throw your offense off? I know. Uh, I don't think it was even the missed layups. I think it's more our defense. We gave up 28 points in the first quarter, which is bad. Um, and obviously they're in track to score over 100 if we let them do that every quarter. So I think one of the big points is our defense in the fourth quarter, we really get down the stand so we get kind of gritty and tough. And so we need to start doing that in the first quarter. Because, again, we didn't shoot well, but we, we didn't play defense either. So we weren't doing anything on either side of the ball. It's like with the team had when Tamara came out there and still was able to play some defense. How has she been coming on the team with that defense? She's been great. She's one of the best defenders in this league and always is guarding, you know, Amaya Moore, that type of player. Um, we can put her on anybody. She's just a veteran guard that really helps our team. So having her out there feels, you know, we're still learning the chemistry on the court. We get along great um, off the court and in practice and stuff, and so we're still learning that. But she brings veteran um, defense, and she's smart, has a high IQ. So it's just kind of getting her in that rhythm with us.